Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is Excel lesson number three. Um, you'll see I have a blank Excel spreadsheet open. You'll want to do that. Uh, you have this paper in um, week four of your science fair binder, but we'll go through it here as well. Um, this lesson builds on the skills you need, you learned in lessons one and two, and teaches you some additional skills. You will then use those at the end of the lesson to create a spreadsheet of your own, Follow the instructions and make sure you are saving your file when asked. It says, step one, open the program and enter the information. So as you can see, I've opened. And if you're having trouble getting to Microsoft Excel, please let me know. And then it tells me to enter this. So in A1, I'm putting Monday, A2 is Tuesday, and I can see that. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so your Excel spreadsheet should look like this. Um, look like that. Uh, continue entering the information below so that your spreadsheet looks like this. You will need to widen your columns as you did in uh, exercise one and two. So to widen your columns, you'll see I come over here. I'm going to click on A. And you'll see it has a down arrow. If I come to the edge, well, there we go. If I click on A and everything's highlighted, if I have the two arrows, I can double click that and it makes it wide enough. Okay, if you need to go back and watch that, you can. Um, here, let's see, so I'm supposed to put these numbers. So let's see, 25, 12, 14, 15, 18, um, 18, 15, 25, 30, uh, 45. And 30, 15, 45, 10, and 20. All right, so it says, now we're gonna save our file as last first, Excel three, do not close your file. So later I'm gonna go to save, save as, um, and I'm just gonna save it to science six and science fair. You can save it to your science but it needs to be Ross or last name Sam, uh, Excel three. There we go. And now I know it's gonna keep saving. So step two says adding a row or column right there. Sometimes you need to add a row or column after you've already entered data. In this exercise, we need to add a row horizontally for our top headings. Click on the row where you want to add it and then click insert. So let's see. So right here, I have to click on this, this row. So I'm clicking on one. And if I right click, right click and choose insert. And it inserts a row right there. Okay. Next, you will choose to insert a row and click OK at the bottom of the pop-up box. The row will be inserted above. Yes, we did that already. Save your file again, it is being saved, great. Step three, creating formulas. Okay, so it says in this exercise, you're going to create formulas using one of the built-in formulas in Excel. Click on B7, B, right here, right here, right there, okay. Type equals sum and that. Uh, then click on B2 so it looks like this. Okay. Now drag the mouse through cell six and type that. Okay, so this, drag it, oh, wait, no, down like that. And then click that. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Enter. Copy the formula in B4. So if I do this, it says you can use, let's see, I'm all, all the way down here. You can use Control C and Control V. So if I put my thing here, Control C, it, it makes the lines go around. Here, I can click Control V and go here and I click Control V. So now I have everything. Okay, I'm up to number five. Number six, finally, we need to enter headings in the columns. So in cell A1, type day, and B1, type week one, C1, type week two, and 
and oh, let's go back and put a space there. Link three. Okay. Um, underline all of these. Your spreadsheet should look like this. Okay, so to underline them, I'm going to highlight them. Um, and I think I'm going to format. I am not going to font. Aha! Oh, where's underline? Right here? Single. There's an easier way to do that, but you could do it that way. I think you can come up to font up here and click underline right there. Yeah. There's a couple of different ways right there. Okay, so we underlined it. Spreadsheet looks like this. It's glorious. Save your file. Number four, or step four. Now it's your turn to create using what you've learned and the help feature in the software. Create a spreadsheet with this information. I cannot see that information. Create your new spreadsheet, but on I'm going to information. Oh, that's this, that's this one, isn't it? I can't see it. Oh, down here. Your spreadsheet should have the appropriate uh -oh, column headings and formatting like you learned in the lessons and contain the formulas equal. You are going to create a spreadsheet that tracks something you do every day. So here's my next spreadsheet. I click the plus here at the bottom. Um, I need this to be smaller again. I got confused. I thought they wanted the spreadsheet to look like the one that's there, but it's actually supposed to, it's right here in number two, what you're supposed to do. Okay. Your spreadsheet should have the appropriate headings and formatting like you learned in the lesson so far. Contain formulas that use equal sum and also formulas that use plus or minus refer to lesson two. You're going to create something that tracks something you do each day. It could be homework, sports, practice, practicing an instrument. Your title and column headings should indicate that what the spreadsheet is about. Show four, show times for four weeks by day. Remember, you always use the Excel formula. Okay, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to highlight this. Actually, I'm going to highlight this whole thing just like this. And I'm going to control C. So we've got the box going all the way around. I'm going to go to my sheet two and I'm going to control V. And then I'm going to delete that fix that. Uh, where am I supposed to put what I'm... What? I'm gonna... What is that? It doesn't say. Week one, week two, week three. New weeks. It says show times for four weeks. So this will be week, th week four. Okay. I need to underline that. Cool. Um, let's say, I think what I'm going to do, because it doesn't have a place for this, I don't think, is, um, let's see, number of steps per day. Okay, so I get about 10,000 steps a day. You could also do, like, I could do a number of water bottles consumed. That might be a little bit easier. Like, I do about two, like two, one, two, three, two. I'm just guessing. It doesn't have to be two, two, three, two, one. Oh, wait, no, two. Three, two, four, one, two. So I'll do number two, two, one, one, three. Okay, and then I need to do a sum. So equals sum, and I'll do what I did on the last one. Then I'm going to copy that, control C, and paste it, control V. What else am I supposed to do? Column headings, four weeks. Uh, I think that's it. So once you get here, just make sure that it's saved 
and you're going to submit this in Schoology in week four of your science fair. Let me know if you have any questions.